All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Toy Collector Review with me, Sergeant Geek. Once again, hitting up my local comic book store, I was able to pick up another great find at their loose speaker section. This here is the Decepticons Impactor. Now, normally in the beginning of the video, we normally check out the packaging, but since he came as a loose figure, we're going to go and jump straight into this figure. All right, so let's get a closer look at this guy right here. My camera will focus. There we go. Once again, lots of detail. Very nice. Looks just like the character on the show. And if you notice up on his chest, he does have an Autobot insignia. That's, I'm assuming, is because he kind of had a change of heart in that episode there where Ratchet helped him out. But once again, take a look at this figure right here. Lots of detail going on there around. Very cool. I'm so glad that I was able to pick this guy up. He was one I saw him on the show. I thought he was a cool character and I wanted to get him for my collection. And I am so glad that I was able to. As you can see there, lots of battle damage. As you can see, really nice depiction of the character here. Very cool, very cool indeed. As you can see, he does have his shoulder mounted cannon. Now articulation, I believe his head only can go left to right. Either that or mine is stiff and he won't go up or down. Now he can go all the way out, past, straight out. And he can do a 360 at the shoulder. Now he does have 90 degrees at the elbow and he does have bicep rotation. Now due to transformation, he doesn't have any articulation in the wrist. He doesn't have any wrist swivel. But that's okay, that's pretty fine because of the way he is. He's still a cool figure enough, nevertheless. Now, as you can see here, he does have hip rotation, which is really cool. And due to transformation, you can get some sort of ab crunch on him. Doesn't look really cool from the back, but it looks cool from the front. Now, as you can see here, his leg can't go all the way out towards the front. And it pretty much can go all the way out towards the rear. He does have a little bit of a thigh rotation there. And at the knee, he can bend 90 degrees. Once again, really cool. Now with the feet, he does have a little bit of up and down. And he does have some ankle tiltage. So you can get him into some really cool poses. Once again, this is a really nice figure. I am glad I was able to get him, even if he is a loose figure at the comic book store. Doesn't matter to me because I would have opened him up anyway. Now, this figure did come with two accessories that were in the bag with him when I purchased them. So let's go ahead and take a look, quick look at those. Here you have this small little pistol gun here, which is really cool. Now you can mount it up here. You can mount it in his hands or at any of those ports that he has alongside his body once again really cool and he comes with this larger rifle right here once again not much detail to it very simple design but cool nevertheless that he actually comes with two pistols so he can do some heavy damage and i guess that's why his name is impactor and i guess that's why megatron was upset when he actually lost him once again, really cool figure, but guys, let's go ahead real fast and do some comparisons. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and do a couple of quick comparisons here. Here we have Impactor with deep cover. Both looking really good. Alright, next we're going to have Impactor with the Evil Mirage. And up next, we got Impactor with Barricade. I actually think Barricade was there when he was lost. And we have him with the Army Drone from the Quintesson Army. And we have Impactor with Hound. Alright guys, that pretty much does it for comparison. So let's go ahead, let's transform him, and let's check out his alt mode. The Transformers will return after these messages. Kinkyu Shire, Shido, Cardobot, Diak Crom. Shiti Reality is Tanmaru 7 points to Kyuko Seo. Shiti Ryokai.
フェアレディ業界電車出動君はどれに乗り込むか宝のカーロボット We now return to the Transformers Alright guys, so here we have Impactor in his alt mode And I gotta say, he's looking pretty badass Let's take a closer look As you can see on the side He's got some battle damage And you got two gun turrets right there You got some claws up in the front You got four sets of tracks Lots of detail to him Now this is a tank Really nice Now let's take a look at the side You can see he's got the two turrets up top Once again Two more gun turrets on the side Over there The main turret gun That can be adjusted You got the shoulder beam cannon there With another turret on top of it The whole uh, top portion does pivot Once again really nice This is how he looks from the top Lots of the robot uh, features are hidden away Which is really cool Once again, this is a really nice alt mode for Impactor right here. But guys, once again, let's go ahead and let's jump into some comparisons. All right, guys, so once again, let's go ahead and do some comparisons here. Here we have Impactor with Hound. Obviously not the scale. Here we have him with Deep Cover. Once again, here he is with Evil Mirage. Here he is with Barricade. And here he is with the Quintessence Drone Army Soldier. Once again, these are really cool. And I think that's where we're gonna wrap up the video for today. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up another episode of Toy Collector Review. Once again, if you're interested in collecting any of the Netflix War for Cybertron figures, this one is a must-have for your collection. He is really cool. He looks good in either his robot mode or his alt mode. I prefer the robot mode best, but that's my taste. But once again, it is your toy. You display it how you feel you see fit. Once again, guys, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, become a member of this channel. Hit that bell notification so you guys can be notified every time I put out a new video. And guys, share this video on all your social media platforms. Let's get this channel out there. And guys, if you like what I'm putting out on the channel, go ahead and hit that like button. It does help with the YouTube algorithm. And for those of you guys who are watching this on Rumble, go ahead and smash that Rumble button. Once again, guys, if there's anything you would like to see on this channel, go ahead and hit me in the comment section below. And I will do my best to try to get that out there for you guys. Once again, I'm Sergeant Geek and I'm signing off.